everyone so today we're talking about another structure deck in the links which is legendary warriors admittedly when i first started the links legendary warriors was a staple of my deck i always have almost all of the x savers and go for the legend and all the spells and trap cards i was using joey and his skill was perfect with using legendary warriors and this was, I believe, the proudest purchase I did with my gems back in the day. At least back in the day. And it's now 2020 and Duel Links has been around for more than 3 years. And I believe that we should all move on. So if you're a new player, please, once again, like I said in Dragonic Force, please do not buy Legendary Warriors. This might seem like common sense to everyone, but believe me. I did the math. So, once again, we're going to look at the trap cards and spell cards of Legendary Warriors. So, currently, there are, I believe, 7 spell cards, 2 trap cards, 8 effect monsters, and 3 normal monsters. So, the 3 normal monsters are Xavier and Piranha. And I was in love with this card. This card was always on my deck. It has a 1,800 attack points and has four stars you can normal summon it and if you have the right equip spells you just do fine so once again let's talk about why this is actually bad so if what i say it's bad is because i like to look at deck in the sense of in my first turn will i be able to do anything at all times because if there's a chance that you'll break and you won't be able to normal summon or activate the spell and trap card to get you at least to have monsters or back row to protect yourself then that deck is essentially bad and it's dead for me so once again let's look at legendary warriors so right off the bat all the spells and trap cards are useless they aren't used for back row to help you protect yourself they are mostly equipped cards and they mostly help in increasing the attack of your monsters so they are useless so seven spell cards and two trap cards you immediately get nine dead cards and then next off the high level effect monster cards of legendary warriors are really good in theory but if you draw them you're as good as dead so legendary warriors has go for the legend battle guard king and commander gotham sword man's Mon master and all of them are useless so that points us to nine plus three we have 12 useless cards in general if you draw any of this four of any of these 12 cards you are dead <laughs> like dead i tell you so is it better than dragonic force no <laughs> In Dragonic Forest, at least you only have 11 cards. In this one, you have 12. I don't know what's with Konami and making it worse, but, well, let's do the math once again. I, When you have 20 cards on your deck, and the probability to get at least one of the 12 cards will be 12 over 20, and then the next, next card you're going to draw will be 11 over 19, because you only have 19 cards left, so you're going to get 11. 11 chances to get the next card so you just multiply all of that so in your first turn the chances of you having brick is 10.21 percent 10.21 percent so in every 100 games you'll get at least 10 of them brick or 10 over 100 if you actually lower that you'll get 1 over 10 so in essence if you duel 10 times at least one of those duel will have you break on your first turn so if you're new to duel links do not get legendary warriors do not get legendary warriors do not get legendary warriors all right thank you